guys, it's the Tinkinator, and today we are going to be making Starbucks' new limited edition Midnight Mint Mocha. We're going to be making Starbucks' Midnight Mint Mocha limited edition frappuccino. So let's so you're going to start off by brewing some coffee and then you're going to go ahead and pour one fourth cup of coffee in. You can also use espresso, it will be stronger and if you want to make it cream based just add milk for this instead of coffee. Now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to stick your coffee in the refrigerator and make it cold. Now you're going to add some milk in. It can be any type of milk that you want and you're going to want to add a half a cup and go ahead and pour that in. Now next I'm using the Starbucks hot cocoa but you can also just use chocolate syrup right for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add one tablespoon but you can add more depending on how chocolatey you want it. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of the Hershey's dark chocolate syrup, but this part is optional. I just wanted to make it dark chocolate. You can also use milk chocolate if you want. And I just want to say this is so good. I'm legit drinking it right now as I'm editing this video. So good. And now you're going to want to add your vanilla extract and you're just going to want to add a half a teaspoon. No more, no less half a teaspoon. Now you're going to want to add about a quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract. I personally don't have a quarter teaspoon so I just took my half teaspoon and I added half of the half teaspoon. And I did this over the sink because it's crucial that you get this right. Too minty is just gross. Believe me I've made it too minty before. So now I'm adding it in because I kind of dropped the camera. Didn't really drop it, but yeah, kind of. Now I'm just pouring it in. And you're going to want to mix it all together now. It's okay if you've already mixed it. I just didn't, so I decided to mix it now. I added just a tad bit more of vanilla extract and a tablespoon of powdered sugar. Now add a cup of ice into it because what's a frappuccino without ice? Now blend it up. And I'm using the Starbucks cup and I'm just pouring it in. I would advise pouring it in halfway, then adding your whipped cream, then pouring it in the other halfway. But I mean, it's whatever you want. This is so good. You can add whipped cream, but I did not feel like it, so I just drizzled some chocolate sauce on top of it. And oh my gosh, it was like the best thing I've ever tasted. You guys don't even know. It was identical. It tasted like a Girl Scout cookie. It was so, 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 so good. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm super excited because here comes the most important part of our delicious drink, the taste test. And I've tried the real ones and I'm very critical. Tastes very similar. The only difference I would say is that um, usually they use espresso and I use regular coffee, but this is really good. It tastes exactly like the real one. And if you want it cream based, um, instead of using coffee, a quarter cup of coffee, just add a quarter cup of milk or cream. Thanks for watching. Watching, you definitely have to try this. It's so good. Bye. Much cheaper too.